I'm a big fan of sedans, but uh, driving on these kinds of roads. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Vikram, and it's a Sunday. Unlike all other typical Sundays where we go out, drive cars, make reviews, nothing of that stuff this week because my mom has some work and I had to drop her. I've been driving this XUV3 W for over uh, 50 60 kilometers already, and I've been driving it on horrible roads. Roads are seriously horrible, like potholes are almost six, seven inches deep, but this car is taking all that with ease. And I can very strongly say that. Uh, it's better than Krita. It's definitely better than Krita in terms of, uh, you know, managing these uh, bumpy roads, which is the case in most of our villages. The thing is, if you're someone who's looking for uh, something like this, a five-seater SUV, then this is the car for you. It's a very beautiful car, man. It is, see, it's a diesel. So it's got all that torque in the mid-range. Low end as well is not that lacking. Uh, turbo lag is there, very little, but that is totally acceptable in a diesel car. As you can see, we are already in third gear. Just a little throttle. Oh! It's pulling ahead, it's lunging ahead. It's literally pushing me back into the seat. As you have seen, it's got a lot of torque. It's a diesel car, man, and it's a Mahindra, so it has to have all that torque. Uh, usually, uh, these days, what I observed was, uh, as you have seen in my previous videos, the 7 Double and Scorpio, and they are very torquey as well. In spite of being uh, over two tons, those cars are very nice. For Indian roads, for our conditions, the amount of tech these cars are offering and the amount of power these cars have is like, you know, perfect. Usually I'm a big fan of sedans, but uh, driving on these kinds of roads, countryside, I enjoy driving, uh, you know, cars which have uh, more ground clearance, definitely because of their, uh, you know, suspension travel and all that, ride quality. The feel of driving an SUV countryside is different. This is not a full-sized SUV, I know, and even it's not a true SUV, but at least it has that feel of driving a SUV. So guys, if I have to nitpick this car, the only drawback I found in this is this doesn't get wireless uh, Apple CarPlay. I shouldn't uh, expect that in something like this, but the 7 Double and uh, Scorpio in which I drove like a couple of weeks ago that has uh, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto as well, which is a very handy feature. You know, the thing is, uh, I've seen in a couple of uh, big cars, like luxury cars, uh, wireless Apple CarPlay is kind of uh, glitchy. Even the Android Auto, Android Auto is better than Apple CarPlay, but uh, wired things are better. So initially I had plans to drive the Nexon EV this weekend for review of course but as I said my mom got some work and she asked me to come with her. Keeping that apart, EVs are impressive, that 0 RPM torque and all that stuff is fine but I am a big fan of these ice part cars man. I'm really a big fan of diesel cars actually, I'm a diesel head. Uh, these days I've been uh, hearing these rumours that by 2027 uh, Indian government wants to ban diesel cars. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, if anyone have uh, clarity regarding that, just do let me know in the comment section below. But if that happens, I'm one of the... Actually, most of the people love diesel cars. Uh, of course, petrol cars are smooth and all that stuff is true, but uh, the feel of driving a diesel car is something else. Especially when you're driving uh, a manual, diesel would be better these days infrastructure countryside is developing a lot as you can see there's a railway track over there and they have built a tunnel from under the railway track if I'm not wrong I uh, I think I am right yeah, they built a tunnel kind of thing from under the uh, railway track. Yeah, nice, right? 
So when I reviewed this car like a couple of months ago, video would be somewhere uh, in the channel. You can click over here to watch it. Someone uh, commented to compare this car with Krita. Uh, you know, I just want to clear a few things regarding that. Uh, Krita is definitely better looking. Of course, looks are subjective, and. Uh, at least the interior of the krita is beautiful koreans uh, like you know they impress people with their designs and interiors and in terms of power driving engine and all that stuff it's on par with krita and seltos uh, but the feel of driving this car is something else it's an indian car and this definitely feels uh, stronger than krita and seltos that is for sure because it's a mahindra and if you ask me which is better I would say Krita is better in its own territory and this is better in its own territory that's because of course both the cars are in same segment but they feel completely different both the cars this has that uh, SUV feel that rugged feel Krita is all smooth soft and it's for, it's not uh, something like uh, you can take it onto horrible roads onto bad roads and it's not something you could like take out for a mild off roading but this car you can uh, drive it wherever you want of course it doesn't have 4x4 and all that stuff but this can be driven wherever you want that is how potential the car is 3 hours later so it's afternoon guys came back home relaxed for some time and now i'm going out again because i just want to drive that morning actually i forgot to show you guys my other favorite feature of this car if you can see this button right here it's the steering mode selector yes this car have dedicated steering modes as you can see now it's in comfort mode and then uh, we have sports mode and normal as well in sports mode uh, steering becomes uh, feedback rich uh, usually in cars like these uh, steering modes will be integrated in drive modes itself but this is something different and it's something very cool man. so that is it for today's video guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video with other car enthusiasts like you and me thank you so much for watching see you in the next video real soon until then this is Vikram signing off